Hello everyone. Welcome back to Rizat Graphics. In this tutorial, you will learn to create this beautiful particle text or logo animation in Adobe After Effects. This is 100% editable. You can easily change your text or logo. So, let's get started. Open Adobe After Effects and then create a new composition. Rename it to logo here. Set the resolutions to 1920 by 1080 pixels, 30 frames per second and set the duration to 10 seconds. Click the grid and guide options, and choose title and action safe. Select the type tool from the toolbar and type your text. Then align your text to the center. Go to Composition, and create a new composition. Rename it to Particles Small. Drag the logo here composition to the Particles Small composition. Then enable the 3D option. Go to the layer then New and select the solid. Rename it to Particles Small. Go to Effects and Presets, and search the effect particular. Drag and drop to the solid layer. Under the emitter, change the emitter type to layer. Then under the layer emitter, change the layer to logo here. Layer sampling to particle birth time. Make sure you are at the first frame. Add a keyframe to particles per second. Change the value to 100,000. Select the solid layer and press U to reveal all keyframes. Go to about 1 second and change the value to 30,000. Go to 2 seconds. Then add a keyframe with the same value. Finally, go to about 4 seconds, and change the value back to 0. Change the velocity to 5. Velocity random to 100. Emitter Z value to 0. Now, hide the logo layer so we can see the changes. Go to the particles, and change the size to 6. Change the sphere feather to 0. Change the size over life and opacity over life to something like this. Go to shading. Turn on the shadow let for the main. Go under the shadow let settings change the placement to project. Go under the physics, then under the air. Check the air resistance rotation. Go under the spherical field. Change the radius to 290. And change the feather to 100. Go to the rendering. Then motion blur. And turn off the motion blur. Let's see what we have created so far. Cool. Let's move to the next step. Create a new composition. Rename it to Particles Big or whatever name you like. Let's drag the logo here composition. Then enable the 3D option. 
Go to the layer menu, then new and select the solid. I am calling it particles big. Go to the effects and presets. And search the effects particular. Drag and drop to the solid layer. Go to the emitter then change the emitter type to layer. Then under the layer emitter. Change the layer to logo here. And layer sampling to the current time. Go to about 3 seconds on a timeline. Change the particles per second to 100,000. Then add a keyframe. Then after 1 second, change the value back to 0. Make sure you are at the first frame. Change the velocity to 50. Then add a keyframe. Go to about 5 seconds on a timeline, then change the velocity to 1500. Change the emitter size Z value to 0. Go to particles. Change the life per second to 2. And life random percentage to 100. Change the size to 1. Size random percentage to 100. Change the size over life and opacity over life to something like this. Go to the shading. Then turn on the shadow let for the main. Under the shadow let settings. Change the placement to project. Finally, go to the physics, then under the air. Change the air resistance to 1. Enable the air resistance rotation. Change the spin aptitude value to 50. Spin frequency to 0 0.3. And change the wind Z to 450. Go under the turbulence field. Change the affect size to 150. And affect position to 500. Fade in time to 0 0.2. And complexity to 10. And X offset to minus 300. Let's preview it. Perfect. I am happy with the results. Let's move to the final step. Create a new composition. Rename it to Particles Main. Drag the Particles Big Composition. Then drag the particles small composition just below the particles big comp. Then drag the logo here composition. Go to about 2 seconds on a timeline. Drag the logo here composition to 2 seconds. Press the T to open opacity. Then change the opacity to 0%. Then add a keyframe. Go to about 2 seconds forward. And change the opacity back to 100%. Let's see the final results. Fantastic. Let's import the logo. Drag the logo to the logo here composition. Reduce the scale if required. Right click here then create a new solid layer for the background. And choose the white color. Let's see the results. Cool. Looks good to me. Now, select all layers, right click, and choose pre-compose. 
I am calling it particular build. Then enable the 3D option. Go to the layer, then new, and choose the camera. Select the camera layer and press P to open position properties. Then add a keyframe. Change Z position to minus 1500. Go to the few seconds forward. And change the Z position to minus 2100. Drag the second keyframe to the last frame. Let's see the results. Amazing! Our particular logo animation is ready. I hope this was helpful, and that you've learned a lot from this tutorial. If you do have any questions, or if anything that is unclear, please leave a comment. I will respond as soon as possible. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notifications. I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Good luck.